Gavin, I will go ahead and turn it over to you. All right. Well, hi, I'm Gavin. Um, as Landon said, I live here in Louisville, um, right downtown pretty much. Uh, I think the last time I was on this call, I was getting trained up by Bree. It was probably the first video call I'd ever done. And then uh, uh, Bree's still with Sam Martu. She's up in Indiana. She's a Hoosier, so don't, don't hold it against her. Um, but she's doing pretty well up there. She still has uh, Jeffersonville, uh, so uh, she comes down every now and again. But I want to get right into this presentation here. I know some of you guys got to get off pretty quickly. All right, can everybody see that? Did it work? Yep, we're good to go. All right, so you guys are seeing the uh, uh, the full presentation? Yeah, it says fall 2022, new, newer, newest. Excellent, excellent. So this is gonna include everything that's come out in the spring and the fall. I wasn't at the, uh, the last presentation, so I'm gonna try to encompass everything that I can that I think is important. There's some things I'm gonna skip over because you know, not everything's an absolute hit. And I'm not gonna bore you with this stuff that I don't care about. All right, the biggest story that we've got is a new brand called Mercer and Metal. Uh, I know y'all probably have not heard of Mercer and Metal before, and that's because it hasn't existed before. And this is the first year that's been rolled out. It's, we've had it in development for the past four or five years. Um, we've got a polo called the, uh, the K500. Um, it's been our number one, one selling polo for about a quarter century. And, you know, having it, you know, being our, our number one selling polo for a quarter century, it was designed in the 90s. Uh, so a lot of that stuff wasn't really resonating that well with millennials and Gen Z. And 75% of the workforce in the next couple of years are going to be a millennial or younger, uh, Landon being one of them. Uh, and then, so this Mercer and Metal Line was trying to appeal to that audience. So you'll notice that a lot of the stuff is a lot more fashion forward. Uh, this is one of the new pieces from the fall. Uh, it's a sweater knit. Uh, we've, only, we've only got one of these in Port Authority. Now this Mercer and Metal price point wise is gonna fit right between the, the Port Authority and some of the retail brands with some overlap on either side. Uh, so really when you're looking at a good, better, best scenario, this is gonna be your better option. There's gonna be no retail branding on the outside whatsoever. So you're, you've got full reign to put your corporate logo anywhere on there that you want. Uh, so this first one here uh, is a really, really nice knit sweater. These cardigans have been doing really well. Uh, so we've added another one here, longer length for ladies pockets on it too. And the lapel is nice and thin. See if you can see that here. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So it's nice and thin, so it's not going to get in the way of any kind of corporate branding. Added some puffers too. A lot of the stuff in Mercer and Metal we kind of borrowed from other brands, and uh, uh, we don't really try to hide it when we're knocking something off. Uh, but this is really reminiscent of some uh, uh, North Face pieces that we came out with in the past few years. Uh, and we took some ideas from them, improved on it a little bit. Uh, this is actually a 5K, 3K waterproof breath breathability rating. And what that means is it's got a durable water repellent coating on there. So even if it's like sleeting outside, you can wear this and not have to worry about getting wet. Ladies comes with a hood and it's parka length too. Uh, it's been a long time coming to get some longer length options for ladies. It does have that double zipper on there too. So if you need to sit down, if you're watching a U of L game, uh, you can zip that thing up a little bit and be able to sit comfortably. And this is not a down fill. It's a blown poly, uh, which feels like down, but you can actually wash, machine wash this thing. Uh, expanding on that line, we also have some vest options. The ladies is really, really cute. If you notice, the ladies has the collar plus the hood on the back too. I'm going to briefly real, real quick. I, yes. I wanted to wait until you're done. I just want to tell everybody here, like, I, so Gavin showed us this when it first came out and I was kind of, I have to admit, I was kind of skeptical at first, but I really like the Mercer metal line. It's their brand. The quality, I, I feel like the value is really high. And for, and, and what we've seen, I think as we've gradually shown it is it is very appealing to the younger crowd 
the pricing is very reasonable and we've already latched on, I think, to a few items that folks um, really like. And so I, I really can't recommend this enough as a consideration. And just remember, you know, sampling is probably the best way to get familiar. So as you see this, this is just a subset. I posted the link to the entire brand in the chat. Um, if there are items in here that you'd like to see samples of, just reach out to us and let us know. Yeah, and there's a couple that I want to come back to as well uh, and show you guys from the spring. Um, this is only highlighting at the beginning the stuff from the fall, uh, but in the spring, we came out with a ton of polos. There's an excellent, excellent t-shirt option in here. Everything's gotten a little bit more dressed down since the pandemic, and it had been trending that way for a while, but I think the pandemic definitely sped it up a good bit. Uh, you'll notice further on in this presentation that there are a lot of business hoodies, I like to say, uh, in this lineup. And uh, it's the, the game's really changing a little bit. And I'm here for it. Uh, soon I'll be able to wear shorts to work. And I'm, I've been looking forward to that for a while. Nike, I'm going to briefly touch on Nike. Uh, actually, this gives me a good opportunity to talk about the retail brands in general. Um, I don't want to sound like a, uh, a broken record, but supply chain issues have been plaguing us for a while now, but it's mainly plaguing the retail brands. Now, all the retail brands, they have retail obligations that they have to fulfill, and then they focus on things like wholesale. So a good rule of thumb for anything Nike uh, or anything Eddie Bauer North Face, the more colors an item is offered in, the more likely it's going to be in stock. And after this presentation, I'm going to show you some tricks and tips to help find things that are in stock a little bit more easily. So you guys don't have to go back and forth with, uh, with everybody, you know, trying to find something that's got a full run of sizes and everything for you. Uh, but let's move on from here. These, these Nike pieces are expanding upon a Nike club fleece line that we've had already. Big difference is we've moved the logos over to the left sleeve for you. So you have the left chest open for, for decoration. And some of these Nike pieces are replacing old SKUs on like these thinner quarter zips, the element zip tops on the uh, left-hand side. On the right-hand side are two new pieces. Uh, one is a Thermofit quarter zip, which is going to be really popular in the corporate world. And that's expanding upon a full zip hoodie that we've had in the past. It's done really well for us. And then on the right, the far right-hand side is a new soft shell. Now, this is the first soft shell we've ever offered from Nike. Uh, it's going to be really popular uh, coming here soon. Now, these Nike bags are things that got added over the summer. The Nike bags are a replacement of some old SKUs. The Brasilia line is something that's been around for a while with Nike. Uh, one big improvement is on the large duffel. Uh, you know how a lot of duffel bags, they'll have the shoe compartment on one side to put your shoes in. You have to kind of figure out how to fit all your clothes in there afterward. With this one, the shoe compartment, and I'll zoom in here for you. The shoe compartment's on the bottom. Uh, so you're actually able to see that you can just stick those shoes in underneath and you don't have to worry about messing up all your folded clothes when you're sticking stuff in there. All right, on to OGO. So I'm a huge, huge fan of these pieces here from OGO. Uh, this is kind of going off of a trend that we've had for a while, and it's micro terry. So what micro terry is, it kind of feels like a, a really thin towel. Uh, and the big difference is between micro terry and what a brush and a brush fleece is a brush fleece really retains warmth a lot, a lot better. This is more of a mid-layer piece, something that you're going to wear in the fall or the spring. It's got a lot of stretch to it. Uh, it's a tri-blend with spandex uh, instead of rayon, and it's got an incredibly soft hand. Anything in the OGO Luma line has an exceptionally soft hand, uh, one of the softest items that you're ever going to find. If you're ever going to you know, get something for yourself, I highly, highly recommend any of these pieces. And this is going to be your first example, too, of one of those business hoodies I was talking about. Uh, we've got a Henley, a Henley hoodie over here. Uh, and the Henley hoodie doesn't have any cuffs on the, uh, the banding at the bottom or on the sleeves. Uh, and it's got a nice clean front, too. So a nice business scene look, even though it is a little bit dressed down. 
Ladies, we get that long length tunic too. Uh, so the next page here, if you look on page 44 on the left-hand side, um, that's highlighting the grit. Hey, Gavin, things. just a, yeah. can I just ask a really quick question because it's something that I, I probably wanted to ask for a while. Like on the website, there's OGO and OGO Endurance. Mm -hmm. Can you just like explain the difference there a little bit? And I'm going to post some links so people can look at the overall line. Yeah, so OGO is the overall OGO brand. OGO Endurance is anything that's like a performance t-shirt. Really, if you, if you select OGO, all of the OGO pieces are going to show up, even the OGO endurance stuff. Got it. Okay. Um, eventually, we'll probably end up fading out, uh, phasing out that OGO endurance line and make it all OGO. Uh, but the OGO endurance is there to help differentiate between a corporate piece and a sportswear piece. Okay. Got it. Uh, OGO too. OGO is owned by Callaway now. Um, OGO started in golf bags way back in the day. And, uh, you know, they're remaining a golf brand now. Um, OGO is owned by Callaway. Um, Callaway obviously makes their own stuff. And one of our other new brands, Travis Matthew, is also owned by Callaway. That's their high-end brand, similar to a, to a uh, Peter Millar or a Johnny O. And to that point, you do still offer the OGO golf bags. So anybody on here that is looking for golf bags, we do have those. And I would, I have almost exclusively used OGO bags for as long as I can remember. And they have a pocket that completely zips off to put the logo on it. So just a little side note about that. Yeah, really easy to decorate. A lot of the stuff that is made for wholesale, especially the stuff that we carry that's made for wholesale, is all made with a decorator in mind. Even some of the North Face stuff, they had this really heavy $300 down parka that they made for us. And they actually moved their logo to the left-hand sleeve and added an embroidery access pocket for us too. Uh, to make sure that there's no embroidery backing on the inside of such an expensive jacket. Uh, here we've added on to the grit fleece line. Now the grit fleece is a really, really durable fleece. Um, it looks like a sweater fleece, but it is machine washable. You can really, uh, really abuse this thing and it's going to hold up pretty darn well. Uh, the first two items that we had in were, the, were a full zip for both men and women. Uh, we've added a half zip and a vest uh, now, uh, but really, really popular pieces uh, wear really well. They're really, uh, they're really a flattering silhouette. Uh, on the right hand side, we have the bolt full zip. Um, now this is a really clean looking fleece. Uh, it's a smooth fleece and it's got welded seams. I'll show you what I mean by welded seams. So I don't know if you guys can see that there, but you see how the seam there is, is kind of kissing and you can't see any stitching whatsoever. You just see the line. Whereas if you look at the grit fleece, you've got uh, some clear stitching on one side. With the welded, uh, you can't see that stitching. Uh, the ladies is a drop tail in the back and I'm a big fan of this deep rose color. And this is kind of going along with that uh, earthy type of tones that you're starting to see so often. These are some pretty cool bags. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the bags. I'm going to only highlight a couple. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got the Utilitarian Modular Pack. This is one of the coolest backpacks I've seen. Um, there was a really popular Nike bag a few years ago that was very similar to this. Uh, but this one kind of takes it up to the next level. That top pocket right there, the buckles will actually come undone, and you can remove that top pack. And you can wear that top pack as a cross body bag if you want to. And it also can snap onto the inside of the backpack if you want to keep valuables in there and leave that separate. But a really nice bag. Uh, if so you, would that bag be embroidered on that bottom pocket center, essentially? Is that like a removable pocket? Uh, that, that would be the pocket that I would put the hoop on, yes. But it's not a removable pocket on the very bottom. Gotcha. But that's <clears> just where the logo would go. Okay. okay. Yep. And uh, all of our items now have a decoration spec sheet on the San Mar site. So you can actually see where all the decoration locations are because it can get really confusing on some outerwear and some bags, finding out what kind of decoration you can use, how big that decoration can be, and uh, any other uh, special techniques I just linked, to pay attention to. To your point, Gavin, I just linked to the decoration spec sheet on that backpack and it shows the, the uh, bottom front pocket as the deco area. Yep. So... 
It's on a nice bag. It, it's, it's a really, really nice bag. The other two on the opposite side are really nice as well. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on those. I do want to highlight here, though, uh, we've got a hard body spinner bag now. These are incredibly popular. Uh, if you go to, uh, if you've flown anywhere in the past couple of years, you've seen these all over the place, but we haven't added one because, I mean, how are you going to decorate a hard body bag? So what we did was we went back to the drawing board and OGO put a soft outer pocket on this. So that soft outer pocket allows us to be able to embroider on that piece there. And this actually um, goes really, really well with any of those OGO pieces you saw on the previous page. The styling is exactly the same. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can also see the OGO Sprint Pack. This is an excellent price point bag from OGO. Um, there are not many bags that are at this price point, especially yeah, anything retail. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, um, but as we kind of progress, you know, you don't have to carry as much stuff around anymore. You used to have to carry you know, folders, files, uh, you know, catalogs. Now, a lot of folks really just need a backpack for, you know, a computer and, you know, a handful of other things. Uh, so this is an excellent bag if you're going to go that route. Those bags are sweet, man. I like those. Yeah, OGO has <clears throat> been the king of bags for years. Uh, number one selling backpack in the apparel industry is the uh, OGO Metro Pack. And that thing's been around about as long as I have. <clears throat> Next, we got Eddie Bauer. Um, these Eddie Bauer pieces are replacing some older Eddie Bauer SKUs. Uh, the older Eddie Bauer SKUs are... are are staying around. They're the EB530 and the EB531, but they've been around for 10 years. Uh, this, these items kind of update the style lines from that, and they've added some stretch. Uh, soft shells was the number one uh, category of outerwear for a number of years, and it's still the fastest growing despite all that. Uh, and when, it, when soft shells initially came out, they're a little bit more restrictive, uh, but now we figured out how to add uh, um, some spandex of those soft shells. So you really got a full, you got full range of movement there now. Big story in Carhartt, we've expanded the ladies offering. Um, we only had a couple pieces in ladies that we added. It's probably, it wasn't last year, it was probably the year before that when we added the ladies pieces. It's been a big ask for a while, uh, but we've been partnering with Carhartt for a little bit now and they're getting used to having a, a wholesale partner. Um, you actually notice on the duck jacket for ladies, we got them to move their logo down to the, uh, to the front pocket rather than leaving it on the left chest because car can be notorious for putting their logo in the most decoratable spot, uh, on their, on their items. And these are really, really cool pieces too. These are called super ducks. So they're as durable as duck cloth, but way, way lighter weight. Uh, so you got easier range of movement. It's got some elastane in it, so you got plenty of uh, uh, stretch to it. It's not going to be restrictive. Uh, it's also got uh, rain defender and wind fighter technologies uh, in there. Um, it's that traditional car durability that you, you've come to know for years, uh, just a little bit lighter weight. Shirt jacks remain incredibly popular. And then we've also updated the shoreline jacket. Mm -hmm. This is your uh, this is your insulated waterproof jacket. And it's the best selling uh, outerwear piece that we have in Carhartt, actually. Expanded the mid weight fleece line from Carhartt. Full zip hoodie, uh, mid weight hoodie. The first mid mid weight hoodie that we came out with had Carhartt written down the sleeve. This is just an option uh, that doesn't have it down the sleeve, and this also comes in tall. Uh, and then we've also got a mid-weight uh, quarter zip as well. These here are replacing some old SKUs on the left-hand side, the Carhartt Force, that is the performance line from Carhartt. So it's a little bit lighter weight. Um, those have existed in the past, but they've been kind of redesigned a little bit, so they're transitioning to a new SKU. Uh, same thing with the uh, mesh back cap on the right-hand side. 
Uh, we actually have a really nice knockoff of this cap and Cornerstone too. Cornerstone is our in-house brand and we borrow a lot of ideas from Carhartt and that brand. So definitely check it out. And then this new style here is the uh, quarter zip long sleeve t-shirt. So it's that traditional Carhartt t-shirt feel, uh, but in a quarter zip. Man, I'm on the website and from what I can tell, I mean, this is kind of news to me. I mean, you guys expand, I mean, you're expanding the Carhartt line a lot and there's a lot of really. That was always the intention. I mean, obviously the uh, pandemic slowed it down a little bit. Uh, but when we took on Carhartt, we wanted to go all in with it, and they've been working really well with us. Uh, my father's actually the rep up in Detroit, so he's got a really good relationship with those guys down at Carhartt. Yeah, and I mean, it's, I mean, there's, heck, I mean, there's what, one, two, three, six, about, you know, 10 or 11 new styles. There's some, there about another eight or nine or 10 coming soon. So, I mean, there's a pretty significant expansion, and the look of all this stuff is, I think, big time improvements for our industry. So, that's exciting. Yeah, added uh, uh, some uh, PFG fishing type shirts too. Imagine like a Columbia PFG, but more durable. And uh, that's what you get here with the Carhartt Force. And in and in stock. Yes. yes. Or will be. <laughs> we added a Port Authority fishing shirt at the beginning of the year. I had no idea uh, that Columbia was out of stock, but it was pretty much a knockoff of the Columbia Thai Miami. Uh, just with the pockets a little bit lower so you can actually decorate on the thing. It was gone in 10 days, I swear to you. And we thought that we had bought plenty of it too. Uh, I, mi I missed the uh, jeans here. These are replacing some old SKUs on the jeans. They just been updated a little bit. New Era. New Era is another brand that we partner with a ton. Uh, so we actually manufacture all of the apparel for New Era. And uh, New Era stuff has been really popular in the new kind of trendy dress down corporate world and it's also really popular in, in, in schools and athletics as well uh, these pieces here are actually a uh, a micro terry so again with the micro terry the idea of micro terry is to give you the weight of a sweatshirt the 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 drape of a sweatshirt without necessarily being as hot as a brush fleece so if you're living somewhere like kentucky where it can fluctuate 30 degrees in a day uh, this is a really good option to have because it's not something you'll necessarily have to take off by the afternoon. Always want to point out the mesh back hats too. Um, those have been incredibly popular. And I don't think the popularity is waning much at all. Uh, New Era is a really well-known brand. Definitely one that uh, you should go with. This one here in particular is actually recycled. Now, this sport tech piece, the sport tech drive, this is filling a niche that we kind of had left open. Uh, we didn't have a good price point option in sport tech. Um, this is adding to that line. It's got some flat knit strings to it, and it comes in a lot of great athletic colors. Uh, but one that I want to point out, and this is one of those big trending colors. You see that one that says Ecru? It's like that creamy, uh, like vanilla type color. Second one from the left, right? Yes. That one is going nuts right now. That, that color is popular in every single fashion brand that uh, I've seen. Um, in district, we've got a Heather Latte, a Heather Oatmeal. Um, we've got a vintage white, I believe, in either Next Level or Bella Canvas. And they are just selling like crazy, putting navy, putting forest uh, ink on this, putting uh, maroon ink on this. Gives it a really nice vintage look, and folks are eating it up. Hmm. Yeah, that's a nice looking item. I mean, and this is, nice too. price point's really, really nice. Um, these pieces are part of the same line. Crew necks. Hopefully we'll get some more color options and crew necks. It seems like crew necks, it seems like crew necks are the most, uh, I guess the fastest growing in popularity right now, uh, especially among millennials and Gen Z. Yeah, it is interesting to have seen the, the, the movement from hoodies to crew necks. Like my girls are 11 and 14 and I mean, they have just, unbelievable numbers of hoodies and they'll wear them all year i mean it's unbelievable like they were wearing hoodies this week it's 90 degrees or whatever but um but i see that movement 
away from the hoodie to the crew neck. Um, you know what I think it is? Like, I think a lot of it is you're able to accessorize more with a crew neck. And then a crew neck also has kind of more of a dressed up, more adult look to it. It's something that you can kind of get away yeah. with wearing to the office nowadays. Uh, I know my boss, the last time he was here, he had a, uh, uh, well, he was here in the, in the early spring, but he had a, uh, a woven button up on underneath a, just a crew neck sweatshirt from Sport Tech. Uh, these pieces here, on the left hand side, it's 100% poly uh, uh, fleece, and it's 100% recycled as well. We've really leaned into, into the sustainability kick that we're on here. And if you go onto the Sandmar site and type in sustainability, all of our items that either have organic cotton content or recycled content to it will show up in your search results. So type in sustainability, and you'll be able to find that. On the right hand side, this is just something that I want to highlight for the fall. It's a uh, knockoff of the Nike Tech Fleece. And we don't try to hide it when we're knocking something off. About 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more than that, we hired a lady uh, by the name of uh, Shell Renning. She used to do product development for Nike. Uh, now she does product development for us. And the, before that, we were just buying whatever the mills were making. Uh, and a lot, of, a lot of other wholesalers still do that. Uh, but now we've got a full team of people beneath uh, Shell, and uh, she was in charge of rolling out that Mercer and Metal line, as well as all of our other in-house brands. That's what I was talking about before the call started, some of the ads that we've done to the perfect try. Uh, two new tanks. Um, when we first rolled out District, it was the early 2010s, and everything was very, very tight to the body. We phased out most of those styles, uh, all but one, I believe. And everything is kind of trending toward a more relaxed fit. Oftentimes, ladies will go with a unisex fit over a relaxed fit uh, anyway. Um, and these are two new tanks that we think are going to do really well um, for concerts, festivals, any kind of summer events. Uh, but this really highlights some of the colors that we've added. This is the Heather Russet that I was talking about. It's in the top row between the okra yellow and the red frost. It is not brown. It's definitely more of a brick color, like a deep brick color. Um, sometimes the catalogs can be a little bit misleading on what the actual color is. But if you go into the product spec sheet on sandmar.com, uh, underneath that big product image, when you pull up uh, whatever item you're looking at, you can see all of the PMS colors, and that's the code that you use to, uh, uh, to figure out exactly what shade, what hue uh, the color you're looking at is. And I just uh, posted the link to the DM-130 that, that has a pretty good image, and it's definitely more of like a copper, you know, sort of mm -hmm. a, a, an orangey, fall orange color. The two things I was going to say, so a lot of our customers are familiar with the, the perfect tri tee because it is our go-to, like, almost all the time. And so those, those shirts he was showing on the previous page are that same material. They're just different styles. So that's just one thing to contextualize that for everybody is, and Sarah even mentioned before the call how much she loved that shirt that we she has of ours, which is Navy. So what you're talking about is that same family, same material, just different cuts. Um, and still this is, I mean, and Brett would say the same thing. So would Alex this is our go-to for like anybody who asks us for just a go-to you mentioned the fit i mean everything about it is just an excellent item and and they keep expanding the family to these different styles so that it's like oh you like this then you're going to like these things too yeah I'll, I'll punch in to say i completely agree i, I pretty much try to wear one of our t-shirts any day that i can just because they're they're so comfy you really don't want to be out of it so any chance i get i'm, I'm in one of these and they really hold up quite well for a tri blend. A lot of times, tri blends they can be incredibly soft, but you know, after a whole bunch of washes, they don't necessarily hold up. They'll start to pill sometimes. It's really a catch twenty two. You can have, either have the crazy softness, or uh, or you can have something that's going to hold up for a while. And I think the perfect tri really found that perfect medium between those two. And we've expanded into some fleece as well. This is a really lightweight fleece. It's a great fleece for the fall or the spring. I love, love the colors that we've added in this. Um, that ochre yellow is fantastic. Um, now, I wouldn't throw any navy ink on there. Definitely, would, maybe some. Absolutely uh, not. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah. yeah. 
some uh, maroon, I think would work a little bit better. Uh, I think I think navy ink has been proven to ruin garments that are <laughs> so it's it's a risk no one wants to take. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah, but this is a really lightweight. It's only seven ounces, uh, so it's going to have some nice breathability to it. I love the look of this thing. I, I did I didn't see this yesterday. I think this would be like something we need to get some samples in people's hands pretty yeah, quick. Check out the crew neck too. Crew neck's got a nice raglan sleeve to it, so you can have plenty of uh, range of movement. And we got the full zip and we've got a jogger as well. And check out the ladies' pieces. Look how cute the, uh, uh, the crew neck is for ladies. The so sure one thing I was going to say is we've shown some pants here and like here's a pair of shorts. Obviously, we don't do a ton when it comes to below the waist. You know, that's just not an area we do a ton in. But I will say, I think we've seen a little, we've seen more requests lately for that kind of thing uh, for, you know, shorts, pants, uh, you know, things like that. And we can decorate them. Um, you, you know, you can embroider them and, and obviously you can screen print them. So just throw that out there that uh, don't rule that out. It is something we're seeing more of. It's, it's a great uh, uh, employee gift piece. It's a great uh, uh, care package uh, item, especially with how many folks work from home now. Uh, be a really comfortable lounging piece. I don't know if I would look great in them, but um, I think they're a really cute, comfortable piece. Uh, if you look on the right hand side, we've got a quarter zip hoodie. These things are just all over the place now. Uh, we've got one that we've added in OGO. We've got this uh, one in perfect try here. I think we got one more that we'll see before the uh, presentation's over. Uh, and then we've got the ladies jogger here as well. Joggers remain to be incredibly popular. Uh, the cuffed bottom is really important. I think some, the big reason why we've gone to this uh, cuffed jogger is everybody's about showing off the sneakers nowadays. I know that's what it is for me. It says on the website that that, that um, women's v-neck sweatshirt that you had up there is coming soon. What's the ETA on that piece? So most everything is going to arrive in September. Uh, anything that hasn't come in yet, most, honestly, most everything is already in stock. We're just waiting on one more color or one more size and a lot of things. Generally, all this stuff during normal times will all show up at the end of July. And then we're, we're good for the rest of the year. Um, but I don't even have all my samples and a lot of this stuff yet. But I will tell you that in all the stuff that we manufacture in-house, I have all the samples in that. And what that tells me is that this stuff is coming in. We're just waiting on one more size or one more color. VIT fleece, I want to highlight too. Um, this is my go-to hoodie, uh, the DT6100. That's not what's shown here. The DT6100 is the mid-weight fleece. Comes in a ton of colors. It's really, really easy to decorate. Uh, this is the heavyweight version. So if you're familiar with like a champion hoodie, you know how heavy a champion reverse weave hoodie is. Uh, this is going to be that super heavyweight look that is so trendy right now. Uh, it doesn't come, come in a ton of colors. It's a little bit more expensive than what your mid-weight hoodie would be. But if you got anybody that's looking for this heavyweight hoodie, it's great for working outside in the winter. Um, it comes with some nice colors too, including that oatmeal heather that I was talking about earlier. Uh, and then we're also expanding more of our re-fleece line. Again, if you want to look at anything that's sustainable, go to our uh, sustainability page. I've seen uh, some of the sustainable stuff be incredibly popular in breweries, distilleries, uh, schools, and even power companies too. Um, but everybody is trying to really impact that triple bottom line and make sure that their brand shows that they care about the environment. All made, all made's big story too is all about sustainability. You can actually go to the all made site, uh, allmade.com and you can calculate how many, uh, how much plastic you're removing from the oceans by buying however many of their shirts. Uh, how much CO2 you're, you're, you're removing from the atmosphere and uh, how much waste you're removing from landfills too. And their tri-blends might be the best in the industry. Um, I'll, just, I'll just say that. 
I was talking a second ago and realized I was on mute. Let me let me just jump in and say I know that we're right. We're at time, and I, we probably are winding down here. But I just wanted everybody to know we're aware that 10:40 is usually when we stop. Just want to make sure everybody's okay with just hanging with us a few more minutes. All right, now I'll, I'll go yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll keep rolling. Yep. Uh, so earlier on this call, I mentioned that we've added to the garment dyed line. Um, this, these pieces, the beach wash pieces from Port Authority or Port and Company are very, very similar to comfort colors, a little bit lighter weight, added some lady styles in here. And since we've added these lady styles, it means that we've added more colors in the unisex version, which is the PC099. This is part of our C-free C line here. <clears throat> These are really, really similar to our K500, our number one selling polo. I will say the style is a little bit updated. Um, the ladies piece is longer in the body. It's got a drop tail in the back. And the collar, if you, look, if you notice my collar on this OGO here is a little bit longer. This is that traditional collar. If you look at the collars on these here, they've been shortened up a little bit. And that's what the trend is nowadays. <clears throat> now we got some micro Terry pullover hoodies as well. This is going along with that, uh, uh, that trope that we're moving to a more casual workplace. Uh, these are really, really nice pieces, especially nice for layering. Uh, on the right hand side, we've got the Accord stretch fleece. This is a smooth fleece on the outside and it's got some really, really nice stretch to it. It's a little bit heavier than a t-shirt. Um, a great indoor layering piece for the fall and winter. Excellent price point too. <clears throat> uh, on the, the hoodie as well, I wanna mention, this is a snag resistant hoodie despite it being so lightweight. And it's our first ever hoodie that we've offered in the Port Authority line. Ladies is really nice. There's a seam down the front and a seam down the back with a split hem on the side. Uh, men's has no banding and a nice clean front. Make it look a little bit more dressed up. The smooth fleece here. Um, this is expanding upon our uh, collective smooth fleece. Now the collective system is a three-in-one jacket system that we offer. Uh, if you search collective on the Sandmar sites, um, it'll show you a few outer shell pieces and then a whole bunch of different options. Uh, you've got soft shells, vests, insulated jackets, fleece, and all of those pieces will zip in to those outer shells. Uh, so you can mix and match a three-in-one jacket uh, by doing that. But the number one selling piece from that was the smooth fleece, and people would just buy that on its own, not as a three-in-one piece because it was so nice. It was at such a good price point. And it holds up so well. These pieces here are the same fabrication. They're not part of the collective fleece line, but you've got a quarter zip and then you've got a full zip hooded option on the left hand side. These are some great micro fleece options. Um, if you are uh, in the medical industry whatsoever, these pieces here in the Accord micro fleece. These match up with the PMS colors of Wonder Wink, our scrub line that we carry. Uh, so it's a great uh, hospital uniforming piece, but would be appropriate for any uh, corporate uh, uh, venue. Uh, vests, same way, a 4.6 ounce, 100% poly micro fleece. These are all anti pill as well. Uh, the connection fleece, this is a traditional double-sided fleece. We've seen this uh, coming back a little bit over the, over the past few years. Um, just a great 7.4-ounce uh, fleece, but like I said, it is double-layered, so it's a very, very warm option to go with. On the right-hand side, you've got the network fleece. This is probably our most dressed-up fleece that we've added in this line. Still a great price point. Uh, and it's got a piquet knit on the outside. Uh, so, like I said, a really, really dressed up, uh, corporate friendly, corporate appropriate piece. This is probably the, this is what I would consider the modern day blazer. Also added some puffers in port. 
these puffers are going to be really, really uh, big. And if you guys are buying any kind of outerwear whatsoever, get those orders in early. Kentucky gets it from both sides. It gets warmer in the South first. So all of the construction type stuff, all of the lightweight stuff sells out really early because it gets so warm in, in, the, in the Gulf Coast area. The same thing happens in the winter with Kentucky being in the middle of the country, all of those Midwestern and uh, Northeastern states, they buy up all of the outerwear, all of the fleece really, really early on. So if you wanna make sure that you get um, outerwear pieces for your team this fall and this winter, get those orders in as early as possible to ensure that the stock is there. Hopefully we're not gonna need anything this heavy in Kentucky, but you guys know this available, that is available. Uh, this is a new three-in-one jacket. Uh, it's got a, a micro fleece on the inside, uh, outer shell, and it's just a little bit of an update of a three-in-one that we've had for a number of years. These pieces are really, really cool here. So this is part of a cornerstone. Uh, we got a tactical, two tactical duffels and a backpack. Uh, I mentioned earlier when I was talking about the OGO bags that we had a really, really popular Nike bag that was uh, kind of compartmental like this. And I actually used to carry it as my backpack, but Nike discontinued it. So I had to stop carrying it around because everybody wanted to buy it. Well, now we got that opportunity again, also has a Velcro uh, patch on the outside. So if you got, uh, you know, any uh, teams that want to uh, you know, customize their bag in any way, you can do it that way. You can also embroider right over the Velcro patch if you want to as well. These are great price point bags. Uh, you notice that most of these things say, uh, say pricing upon request. It says pricing upon, upon request. You know that it's a nice and expensive piece to use if you're doing any kind of giveaway. Any kind of trade show would be a great option as well. Get more of those here. All right. I'm going to stop sharing real quick and I'm going to switch to the Sandmar site. Come on. So, just while you're doing that, a couple of things I would say is um, I think across the board, it seems to me like there's been a continued I think the ladies in 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 our industry continue to get better and better options. I mean, it you know, ten years ago was terrible, and there's been a lot of movement forward. And even as I look at a lot of this stuff, I mean, even the Carhartt ads and things like that, where you might not think there would be adequate attention paid there, that there's just there's I think a continued expansion of styles that have more of a retail feel. And then one thing I was just going to point out is, you know, we talked about some sustainable options here. Again, I know we're running a little long. Um, so I don't want to talk a long time, but we, if sustainability is something you're interested in, obviously there's a lot of options with Samar, a lot of options with other suppliers that we have. And, um, and finally, not to get too far off track, but on that same trend, we have, they do have a line that is all USA made, which I'm just going to post a link to, because I don't know if Gavin, we must probably don't have time to talk about it, but US, USA made clothing is actually an option as well that I found on the site that I'm going to post. It's actually all made in New Tazewell, Tennessee. So it's right in our backyard. Uh, probably half the folks that work there actually live in Kentucky too. Um, <clears throat> and I'm glad you mentioned the ladies pieces as well, because, uh, you know, for the longest time, we'd have a really popular ladies style and it would be years down the road before we came out with a, or a really popular men's style. It'd be years down the road before we came out with a ladies style and just end up being the, the men's style cut a little bit differently. Uh, now what we do is we actually design and develop the ladies style first because there's so much more that you can do with the ladies piece than you can with the men's. If you're creating a men's polo, really, really the only decisions you have to make are like a two button placket or a three button placket. On the collar, uh, you're only deciding between a, a flat knit or a self collar. With ladies, you can do so much more. V-neck, five button placket, two button, three button, cadet collar, Y-neck, um, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, to make it easier for you guys to find inventory, I want to show you some tricks on the Sandmar site real quick. And this, this will work without being logged in. So you don't have to be logged in to see this because I know that if you're not logged into the Sandmar site, you're not able to see what the inventory levels are. So sometimes it can cre create a lot of back and forth. But let's say that we're looking for a black ladies polo. Uh, so what I've done 
<clears throat> starting from the main page on sandmar.com, I go to products, the drop down there, and I click on polos and knits. And this is going to pull up every single polo and knit that we have on sandmar.com. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to use the filters on the left-hand side, go down to gender and age, filter down to ladies and women. So that's going to drop it from uh, 433 pieces down to 157 pieces. So narrowing our range a little bit. And then I said I was looking for a black polo. Uh, so I'm going to click on black here. And now it's going to be showing all of the ladies' polos and polo and knit options offered in black. All right, 132 products. But if we look on the left hand side, there's a button here that says high stock. If I click that high stock button, it's now shrunk down to 41 pieces. These 41 pieces have a full run of sizes in them from small to 2X. All right. So any of these pieces that are showing up here, you can, you can confidently know that these, these things are going to be in stock. It makes it a lot easier to find stuff without having to go, and back, go back and forth so much uh, with, with the uh, Goodson team. All right. And uh, one more thing I want to show you, too. Let's say that your company has a really, really uh, unique PMS color. Uh, in your logo and you want to be able to match that. And let's say that you are familiar with a particular shirt that you use a ton and you want to change it up a little bit. So let's look at the K500. The K500, if you look at this link here, it says product spec sheet. I mentioned earlier, if you click on the product spec sheet, you can see all of the PMS colors that are offered. All right. So let's say that I'll tell you what, green and Kelly green is a really tough one to match. Because a lot of different brands will have a totally different shade of green and still call it Kelly green. So what I've done is I've copied that PMS code, just the numbers and the C. If you paste that into the search box on sandmar.com, every single item that we have in that PMS color will show up in your search results. And then from there, hit that high stock button. You've got everything that's got a full run of sizes in that PMS color. Now, I did pick a really, really uh, uh, unique color of green for this. Um, a lot of times, if you're picking a navy or a royal or a, a, some, some other more popular color, you're going to come up with a lot more options. But this is really beneficial if you have a really niche color uh, in your uh, uh, corporate uh, color scheme uh, that you need to match. Um, and last thing I want to show you, I just want to touch really briefly on the rest of the Mercer and Metal stuff. Please go check out some of these Mercer and Metal pieces. Um, this item here, these two items here, the, uh, uh, the stretch jersey pieces from Mercer and Metal are awesome. Um, I've got, you know, three of each color of these t-shirts, really the highest end uh, t-shirt that I've ever, you know, gotten from the wholesale industry. And then we've also got some more micro Terry pieces, a stretch front cardigan that has a drop shoulder here. Uh, in the same fabrication, we have a quarter zip and a, uh, a drop shoulder pullover for ladies. Um, in that stretch jersey option, we've also got polos. And then this is a really cool piece too. So this is really reminiscent of like a barber jacket. Um, comes in uh, olive and uh, a deep black and it also has that water repellent coating on there. It's nice and thin too. So you can, you can actually embroider this thing and not have to worry about any kind of puckering going on with your logo. All right, and then I want to point out the soft shell and the waterproof rain shell for ladies specifically. Open this tab too. And just a reminder, so Gavin, I know you won't have everything that you showed here next week, but Gavin will be at our event next Thursday night for those of you that are um, planning to attend live. And I'm sure 
a good bit of these samples will be there for you to touch and feel. So the timing of this is pretty good. I will have almost all of my Mercer and metal pieces. I'm really going to try to highlight those the best I can. Uh, and this is another good example of us really trying to cater to lady style choices a little bit more. Um, the longer length jackets have been something that's been needed for, oh gosh, 10 years probably uh, on the lady's side. Uh, double zipper on this, so you can actually sit down in it. And this is a soft shell, but it's got 23% spandex. There is a ton of stretch to this piece, uh, but really, really nice, really clean look to it. A uh, great price point. I mean, this is the same quality of, as something you get, you're going to get from North Face, but you're not going to have to pay that North Face cost, which could be you know upwards of uh, 120, $125. And then this fabrication has been incredibly popular with ladies. This is a crepe fabric, so it's a nice uh, uh, businessy type look. Not a lot of folks are wearing too many full button wovens nowadays. Uh, this is a great uh, corporate uniforming piece for ladies. Um, if you're going to the show, please check this one out. Uh, it comes in two different silhouettes, uh, but this one's been incredibly popular. Anything that we have with pockets on it, we drop down the pockets a little bit so you're able to fit your corporate logo above those if you want to. Uh, but definitely check one of these out. Other than that, if there's anything else that you guys have any questions about, anything that you were, uh, anything you've been looking for that you haven't been able to find, this is an excellent opportunity to pick my brain. Uh, so please, if you have any questions, let me know now, and uh, I'll uh, see what I can do to help y'all out. Thanks, Gavin. Man, uh, this was good. I, I tried to probably, I probably still talked a little much because I, I probably impeded your progress a little, and I quieted down towards the end because I want to make sure you got through as many products as possible. Um, I know everybody's we're probably about 15 minutes at least long here. Thanks for hanging with us. If you've got any questions, please go ahead and unmute or, or pop them in the chat. We'll give it about a, a minute or two here. But um, if not, we know you got to get going. Everyone's very busy. So uh, we understand if you need to go ahead and, and, and drop off. Um, the uh, reminder next month, we've got Hirsch Gift. They will, all, they will not have a rep at our event next week, but we will have some products from them. As mentioned, Gavin will be there with a lot of samples along with a bunch of other uh, vendor partners and products and, and things for you to touch and feel free, some free food, some free drinks, um, and, and excited to see everybody next week. Um, Brett, you got anything you wanna add or, or if anybody wants to, like I said, unmute or, or ask any questions, please do that now and we'll just, uh, we'll just hang here for a minute or two. No, I think, I think for now I'm good. Um, obviously ton of options out there in our industry and it can be extremely overwhelming um, in regards to all the stuff that's out there. And there's always new styles that are coming out and are on the horizon, keeping up with fashion trends, all that stuff. Shout out to my ladies. You girls are finally getting seen, finally, in regards to just some really fashion forward pieces that I think look attractive. Hopefully you girls think so as well. And it's really cool to hear about the fact that they've got some people on staff who are focusing on those fashion trends to make sure you girls are taken care of. Um, and then it's really cool just to hear all the different attributes um, in regards to the apparel and the jackets. I mean, there's a couple of different like layering things and like the, the picking and all this stuff that you don't really think about when it comes to picking an item. So yes, there's a lot of different items out there in the world, but depending on what your specific need is, whether you need a snag or just a polo because you got a lot of guys that are rolling around on the floor changing cables, or you just need something that's more higher end and you don't necessarily need something that's snagger system, but you're like the lighter weight feel because you're going to a golf outing or something like that. Like there's so many different undercover attributes and things that he covered today that a lot of times I don't even think about when showing items to um, to my clients. So when it comes to picking stuff for your customers and employees and stuff like that, be sure to let us know your reps, what the use case will be. And that'll help us to kind of narrow in some of those off because even on our end at times we can get overwhelmed with all the different fun, unique styles that are out there. And we could send you, I mean, as you see from today's stuff, just pages upon pages of ideas, but um, all these attributes, just kind of another really cool way to help hone in what you may need there um, for us so that we can better serve you. And then I think that's about it. Yeah, I, the only the final comment I'll make is that normally this time of the year, we start to send out what we call our client gift collection because we're having our live event next Thursday. We're using that as a bit of a springboard into that. Um, and, and so that will be something that we follow up with very shortly after next week, which will include clothing and, and then a lot of other items and a lot of the items, frankly, that you'll see uh, next week. So 
Uh, and I can't, I mean, emphasize part of the reason we're doing these live events is because we know how important it is to touch and feel clothing, especially. Um, and then this gives us an opportunity to get, you know, doing a sample here, sample there. We certainly can do that. We're happy to do that, as you well know. But it's uh, it's 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 awesome to be able to like because when Gavin comes in and sees us, I mean, he brings a lot more items than we're typically sending a sample. So you're going to get that same experience uh, along with some other uh, of our partners. So, um, all right, we're long. Thank you again. Uh, you know where to find us if you if you need anything or if you'd like any samples, and we'll look forward to seeing you next month for Hirsch and next Thursday at 1020 Brewery. And if you need information on that, please uh, let us know.